Hey everybody, welcome back to round one of Rush War. So, in preparation for Rush War, I have gone in and taken out all of my usual teams and replaced them with teams that I think will be good for certain things. Let's actually, I want to show you on a different screen here. All right, here we go. So we have uh, we have an Alfreich and Ludwig team. See, I took out all of my teams and I labeled them differently. So I've got Alfreich and Ludwig, which this team has protection from ailments and protection from ailments here. So two different colors. And then uh, El Nadaha can prevent Ludwig from going off. Uh, Guardian Kong can dispel the taunt, and Milady de Winter is good against both Alfrek and Ludwig. So I've got a rainbow team. Wh whatever color I start with is, you know, what I'm going to go after. I have this team here. I have an anti-Alfrek team. So I have two heroes here that if they, if I can get them to go off before Alfrek, I'll give her mindless attack. I have a taunt. I have two taunt heroes actually to combat Alfrike and Fayez over here. Anyways, so here's an Alfrike with the Lady of the Lake. This gives me two reflectors for Alfrike, and I have protection from Lady of the Lake right here. I can use their minions against them and revive in case I lose somebody. Mother North and Callow, so I've got Phenexa here. You can also use someone like uh, Zabog here. He also, the chance of revival is reduced for all enemies in battle. The chance is 50% of the original value. So, you know, when you get that loop with Callow and Mother North, yeah, you're probably going to end up with one or two heroes coming back, but you're not going to end up with four heroes coming back. So it makes everything much easier to deal with. So if you don't have Phenexa or another bard hero that prevents the revival, then Zabog, just double limit break him and use him as a good hero. He's a pretty good sniper, pretty good hit one, and he, he's good for in rush war. Actually, he's good even in regular war when you just have Mother North out there. You know, put, cutting that chance in half is game-changing. It, it it changes a very difficult situation to deal with into something that is, you know, milder, easier to deal with. All right, so what have we got going on in our war here? Here we have a, an Alfreich Lady of the Lake combo here. And so we have a couple of good counters for this. It's not worth a lot of points, but I'm going to try and take out the teams that I think other alliance mates are going to have problems with. So, uh, I know not many people have the Lunar New Year heroes, so I am I go after, you know, any Lady of the Lake or Water Pipe, those types of heroes. So, let's start here. Let's go in. I've got the team pre-made here. For Lady of the Lake, there's not going to be a whole lot of minions, but even just three minions is still going to be a, a good a number for um, for Ojima. That in Rush War, every negative stack that they get is hugely de detrimental to them. And so we'll go ahead and like this okay so for protection from Alfreich we need blue or purple that's the only problem with this team here is that in order to get protection from Lady of the Lake and then be able to take advantage of that with Ojima here Okay, I started recording and somehow I accidentally turned it off, which is really too bad because I had a great attack 
against this team right here. So that was Alfrak, Lady of the Lake, Aramis, Callow, and Mother North. I took this team right here, Ojima, Zhao Tu. Basically, that was able to neutralize Lady of the Lake. And with Knuckles here, I was never able to fire Kitty, but with Knuckles, I had enough blue tiles that I was able to reflect um, Alfreich back. <clears throat> so I didn't have to deal with the mindless attack. And then Zhao Tu, I had, I had pretty good blue and red tiles in this. So I was able to charge Zhao Tu a few times. And I was able to kill Aramis and, uh, let's see, I killed Mother North at the end with Zhao Tu, hit Mother North twice in a row. So, I guess there's a narrative play out of that battle. This one does seem to be the more difficult one with Guardian Kong, who means we can't really take blue. And... Let's see. He's going to dispel. So let's see what we've got for teams that can take out Alfreich. Out blue. This might be a good team here, actually. So I've got protection from Alfreich in green, yellow, red, and honestly... Either of these would be fine, blue or purple, to absorb Alfrek's shots. And Oniwakamaru is not going to hit, so there's nothing to reflect. I think this is probably a good team for this. All right. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got Cupido, good to go. We've got Calervo too. I'll start here with Cupido, and then we'll go on this side here. And this will allow us to work on this left side of the board. So let's do this. And then we can do this. This. Start setting these fools off. I'm going to do this. Try and get Cupid already. Potentially Ludwig. This is only going to last one more round, so I'm actually going to hold Calervo here and see what happens with this. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. So let's hit Alfred with Cupid uh, with uh, Calervo. That did not work out too badly here. So let's see this. And now I'm actually going to let him hit right here. And I'm going to fire Cupido over here, and I'm going to wait one round to fire Ludwig. Because I, I don't want him to hit Ludwig, so I want him to hit Oniwakamaru. And we'll do this. All right, almost killed himself there. And now we'll do Ludwig and Fayez. 
and I just need Calervo. So I will hit Mother North. All right. And this is basically over now. And let's see here. All right, attack two down. Yeah, notice I'm going rainbow team so that I don't have to worry about the board here. Let's take a look at the score here. They've got 10 attacks left. We've got 35. So we're doing really well, honestly, here. Mm, I think I have an anti-Ludwig team. Mm, this is actually an anti-Alfrak team. Or Alfrak and Ludwig combo. Okay. They don't have any Alfrak Ludwig combo. So I can go... I think... Let's take a look at what this would look like. Uh, our healer, got our other healer, we've got our dispeller, our dual reflector, and El Madaha to prevent. Now, I know a lot of you don't have these heroes or some of these heroes, but there are other heroes that can do these things. So, I mean, if I didn't have, if I was cheap to play, I would have probably six versions of Kitty leveled up, I'd have six of Knuckles leveled up, or however many I've got. You know, if you end up pulling three of them, level them up, because this Reflect here is incredibly powerful, especially in Rush War. So, yeah, there are a few four stars that have a lot of these abilities, and you just need multiples of them. Okay, so... Protection from Khufu is the biggest issue here. And we don't have a taunt on this team. So let me see. We don't have any sort of protection from Khufu there. Kara? Or Krampus. I could go Black Knight instead of Guardian Kong. I just need a way to shut him down. For right now, I'm going to go... I'm going to have to think about this, but let's just go in here. They've got Anti-Green, Anti-Blue. And they've got Holda at Tank. So, I'm thinking... We'll go with two healers. The anti-green's not a big deal against Arco. Let's see, anti-green, anti-blue. So we're going to take... They have a lot of hitters, so Isrod could be very dangerous. And then to neutralize Holda, I think I'm going to use my next... Zao two here. Okay, so they still have beefy minions, but um, at least they don't get the benefit of them. Anti blue, anti green. I know Arco's, um, you know his minions will probably will that reflect the minion damage probably. So he might not be the best here. Let's see if I can find someone who would be better. I'd still like blue or green. Yeah, she would be good. This gives me the overheal still. <clears throat> see how this goes.
Oh boy, lots of green. Crap. Okay. <clears throat> well, we need reds here, so we're going to do this and start getting red. Clear out a little bit here. Oh, my God. Honestly, this worked out okay. <laughs> okay, so first we got to put up counterattack for these fools. And I think we'll start over here. First thing that I need to do is try and take out Mother North just to get rid of that revive. <clears throat> now I'm going to keep Director Zuri for the heal after. Yeah, and you know what? Let's do this. This is one heck of a cascading board. It's an awful lot of damage. Okay, but it didn't kill us. And what didn't kill us is going to kill you. Okay, that worked out pretty well. With the board that started with all that green, I got worried for a second there. And all that cascading usually is a killer in Rush, but we had the right team for it. Okay. All right. I've been shying away from this team. I think I just need to go for it. <clears throat> We're just going to have to deal with Kufu here. So we got Overheal. We've got Reflect for Alfrike. Now we just, I think I'm just going to swap out. I'll put in Black Knight here. Black Knight will help against Khufu. All right, so what we're looking at here, uh, these three are not big concern here. The big concern is going to be these. So, yeah. Well, let's just let's just try it. Okay, and we got red. Now let's see if we've got anything that can directly block. Let's see, yellows would be nice against Alfreich or blue. We'll start with this. Actually, let's do this. Oh, no. Stop. No. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. So now we've got a... All right, we can survive this. Start with this. Oh boy, that's right. She cleansed, but that's okay because we still reflect the mindless attack. So. Let's do this.
Okay. Let's see here. We need to. Oh, yeah, we need to do this. Get some heal going here. We need to get rid of Alfreich. And probably Callow as well. So we'll take this match. Get some heal going. Now, while they've still got mindless attack, well, to win this, we need purples and blues. And so, we don't, well, let's set up a purple here. Oh. Okay, we survived that. We need to get Callow. And if we're going to get Callow, we need to get his stone skin off. Okay. Now we can... Reflect the mindless attack that Cal is going to give. Oh, Cal is dead. Okay. Very good. But if he revives here, let's see. Let's get Malady to winter ready again. Okay, he did come back. Got him. Let's see, will that kill him? 71, I think so. Nope. <laughs> okay. This got dicey for a second there, but okay, well, we can stop comboing anytime soon. All right. Okay. So I think we're going to come in here with this team. I have sort of a little more generic type of a team here. I have Fenexa on here to prevent revival, but I think I might swap her out. Maybe with Arco. And then... Let's see here. What are we missing? We're missing red. Let me throw Khufu on there. Let's see what we got here. So they've got two healers here. And then they've just basically got Kazarat to prevent mana increase. But I don't think. Yeah, this team is too passive for a rush team. I don't think we'll have any problems here. Are there any buffs? Mm hmm. I mean, I could swap Panther out. There's no benefit to Panther there other than just some damage. Yeah, I've got Arco for the Fiends. All right, let's see what we've got here. Yellows are good. Greens are good. We can do this. And this. And we'll just take that shot from them. That cleanses uh, cleanses uh, <laughs> cleanses us up and gives us some good defense. 
Now we need blue, red, and purple. So, hmm, I guess we can go here. Take our blues. Let's do this while we've got defense up. Okay, we reflected that back on them. That's nice. Okay, so first we'll do Hippo. Now we'll do Ferdinand here. Let's just go ahead and hit him. I was going to wait, but I guess we can go ahead and do Arco. Oh my gosh, can make me do Arco again? We will in a minute. Okay. Yeah, see, this team just doesn't have enough, just doesn't deal enough damage to ever get any sort of advantage. I guess I might as well let her go off. Okay, now let's see if we can end this here. Nice. Okay, one attack left, <clears throat> and it is basically an anti-minion team, so it would go best here probably. Let's go ahead and put it in here and see what we think. Even though I've got stronger heroes, this is really about synergy. This is only a two-color team, which is kind of dangerous here, but they don't have a lot of ability to deal damage. Except for these two, and they're luckily they're together. Let's give this a shot. My only non-rainbow team here. 
Let's see if we can figure this out. In a situation like this, where I've got some manipulation to do here, and I've got one that I can just take here, I think I'm going to do the taking this one, just in case I get more purples under here. And I am going to do it this way because this gives the chance for a purple here and we could get everything done in one shot. We didn't get any more. So we'll have to do this. Do this. Okay. So now we can cleanse everyone, put up the counterattack, steal the minions. And hit. That gives us now some mana control. And now we just need to get another red, so we'll do this. Callow's going to go to town here, which means he's going to kill himself. Perfect. Okay. So now all we need to do is wipe the board, get our defense back up, steal these minions, and... Um, I'm perfectly fine with her hitting us. Biggest threat out here right now is actually her, Professor Leidenbrock. So we will take her out. This team, my Cyprian team, it only works like this. <laughs> I don't know why I can't seem to substitute any other heroes, which means that I have to dismantle my my team where I use Tetashiri. Zenda and Venexa. But I, I have to keep this team together. It is just too powerful to, to not keep them together. Of course she hits those two. And they'll hit her right back. And that's it. Six for six. All right. Well, I apologize for the non-recorded first attack. It was actually a very exciting one. I got us to within one point. They have one attack left and we have 26. So I think we should win this one. All right. Best of luck on your attacks and hopefully you'll start to use that rainbow method because it's just so effective when you don't have to worry about the board. And in Rush, the biggest problem is worrying about the board. So give it a shot and let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.